Okay, one of the more recent features added to Tinkercad has been the ability to actually adjust these shapes uh, in more ways than just resizing them. What happens now is when you click on any given shape, you'll see this new shapes palette appear. And what you see here changes depending upon the shape that you've chosen. Um, but I'll, I'll start off with this cube and uh, I'll pull some other shapes on here so that you can see what else you can do with, with these different shapes. So <clears throat> just as a, an example on the cube, first of all, you'll notice that it uh, comes out, happens to be red. It's the color here. And we'll, we'll get into colors uh, and holes in the later video. But for now, what I want you to look at is um, this list here of different options about a cube. So for example, this radius right now is set to zero. I'm going to zoom in here so you can see what it's going to do. If I adjust this radius and bring the number up, what that's doing is it's changing the curvature of the actual edges and corners of the rectangle. Okay, So it gives it sort of a smooth edge. And the, the farther I bring it along the dial, the farther it reduces the uh, the actual or increases the curvature. Okay. The other thing that you'll see here is steps. So in terms of steps, what I can do is, if you can see, this is one step of that change in curvature. Two steps, three steps, four steps. So this changes the uh, the amount of steps that it takes to get from one angle to another. Okay. And then lastly for the rectangle is just length and width and height. So just as earlier we were clicking on our handles to make the changes in the dimensions of this object, you could also type them directly into here. So I would encourage you to check out different objects. I'm going to bring up a cylinder on the screen now. And on the cylinder, notice that I have sides. So the sides in a cylinder is how many faces you see here. If you look closely on this cylinder, each of these is actually a side. And so right now, there are 20 sides. If I increase this to, let's say, 40, that's increased the actual number of faces along the side of this cylinder. And so it gives it a smoother look. Uh, you'll notice this when we do some 3D printing, that it actually, uh, you'll see the difference in terms of the quality of the print that comes out. Um, it, it's hard to notice, you know, between 35 and, and 40 or something like that. But if you were to go from extremes, you would see the difference in the, the print output. Okay, so that's sides for a cylinder. Here's the bevel. So the bevel is going to give it some roundness. And if I increase the sides, you'll see that it kind of gives it a smooth, round look. And then segments here. Again, uh, if you'll take a look, I think it's best seen right here when I change the segments. But the more segments that I have, the smoother the look. OK. And every shape's got its own set of features. Pyramids can be uh, the number of sides that it, it's given, almost to the point where it becomes a cone. Okay, And every, every shape that you bring on has its own features. One I would ask you to explore is text. Uh, the text allows you to change what is actually stated in there. So I can put John. Um, and also the font. Okay. And then, of course, again, height and bevel and segment. So this is really, uh, this, this happened with the most recent change to Tinkercad, the most recent upgrade. And it really allows some greater flexibility than we've ever had before uh, in this tool.